a rocket engine has exploded in quite dramatic fashion during a test at Britain's new spaceport in Shetland off the north coast of Scotland. Scientists had been hoping to see the first full engine test of a vertical rocket on European soil as part of a project which aims to send satellites into space. The test was due to be carried out at the Saxevoord site on Unst in the country's northernmost inhabited island but the engine was engulfed in fire on the launch pad as you can see but luckily no one was injured well let's speak live now to frank strang ceo of saxavord spaceport frank thanks very much for joining us um look you're not the only one to have this happen spacex had some crazy errors on their launch pads and their launch vehicles now you have this fire on your launch stool um what went wrong what do you know so far uh, well, thank you, and you're quite right, and thanks for bringing it up, it up about SpaceX. They've had quite a few, and now you know, they did, I think they performed 94 successful missions last year, um, and I'm sure Rocket Factory will get there too. So I can't tell you what, what went wrong. We are, you know, and it's not my role to do that. Um, it's up to, there will be an investigation. Um, Rocket Factory will conduct an investigation and report back and hopefully fix whatever went wrong and then we'll, well, we'll carry on. Are they the only, Frank, in? then, are they the only ones, Rocket Factory, Augsburg, contracted to launch the rockets or do you have other people that can use your spaceport right now? We have other people, but just to, to jump in, um, there was no luck that, uh, that, any, that nobody was hurt. Um, we're a highly regulated spaceport uh, and the same regulations apply to the test as well as to the launch. And one of the many positives that came out of last night was that all our protocols and procedures um, that are in place to protect um, human life, you know, worked. Um, and um, I'm very proud of the way that our team performed. And Frank, you and must remember, this is new to us. People will be will be delighted that no one was hurt. Mm. They will be very interested in what's going to happen next. This uh, was initiated okay. in January 2021. You're hoping for 30 launches a year. What has to happen next for us to see these satellites go from space, launch from the UK? OK, the um, our client rocket factory will conduct an investigation. Um, um, they will uh, then get clearance. They, they've applied for their launch license from the Civil Aviation Authority. Once they know the cause of the problem, and I'm sure they'll find that out very quickly, um, it'll be business as usual. And I would expect us to be heading into launch in the next few months. If it's not with Rocket Factory, we do have three or four um, other clients that are working with us um, seeking to get their launch license. And some of them have already tested um, um, on island as well. Okay, so this well, is we'll not be watching. This Sorry to interrupt, part. Frank. We're out of time, but we will be watching with interest because we do want to know when it happens. Thank